everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Joni Young and I'm going to show you all step by step how to paint this beautiful beachy seascape with lots of pastel colors using the following. And be sure to look below this video, I'll have a full list of all the colors and brushes. We're going to be using titanium white, neon pink, neon orange, neon yellow, turquoise, light blue violet, and neon purple violet. I'll be using my number 50 filbert brush to start this painting on a 12 by 18 canvas that I pre-painted with light gray and this is the gray I'm using. I chose this color because all the pastel colors look really really pretty against this and this creates also creates a little bit of a gray scale so you'll see some shadows and play on color with these so it's really nice feel free to try this or just paint it right on a regular white canvas as well what i want to do is just get my brush a little bit wet first this helps getting a little bit of water on your brush really helps to release the paint and blend the acrylics around so the first color that i want to use is white with a little bit of my orange and I'm going to choose my horizon line and I'm just going to go a little bit higher than halfway so I'm going to pull this across the canvas Then I'm going to take a little bit of my neon yellow with white. I've still got the orange in my brush and I'm going to start going partially over where I left off with that peach. I'm going to add a little bit down here. So I'm turning my brush this way and I've instantly got some reflections in the water and then on the sand and the beach on this side. I'm now going to switch over down to a 30 on number 30 filbert. I'm going to do the same thing, get my brush a little bit wet. And right away, white with a little bit of turquoise. So I'm going to start up here on the top. And I'll work my way down. See how pretty though the, it is to have the gray underneath? Uh, the colors just really complement one another more with a gray underpainting. And then I'm going to add a little bit in the water as well. So I'm just going to pull across, back and forth. Now, if you feel more comfortable, you can turn your brush this way too, or this way. Now this might look a little bit familiar. I did a, a mini version of this on acrylic paper. Much quicker tutorial. I'll leave a link below. So if you wanna watch that for a little bit more inspiration. Take a little bit more turquoise. See how patchy it looks and I've got a little bit of gray left over in between the colors so that's something to keep in mind now the next color i'm going to be using without washing my brush off is my blue violet and i'm going to come in along the side here and just pull see how i've got all those little spaces in between my brush they're kind of separating i like to use that for creating more streaks so it'll instantly just create those lines And I'm not over blending at all. I'm just layering these colors one over another. I'm going to come up partially over 
the peach now because these colors look really pretty together and I wanted my horizon line to be higher than halfway. The reason being, and you should always keep that in mind when you're painting a landscape, don't ever put your horizon exactly halfway in the middle of the canvas. It makes for a very flat looking painting. So if you want to add more interest to your paintings, either place your horizon line much lower or higher. Okay, I'm gonna come in the top now here and I'm gonna start adding some clouds and I wanna create a shape like this. So I wanna have, I'm gonna be very loose. I want you guys to feel very loose and free with your clouds. A lot of people have a hard time painting clouds and it's because they're trying too hard. Taking a little bit of turquoise and white along with that blue can be really pretty. So I'm just gonna lightly push and tap like this. Right along the top of the canvas, I'll add one in the middle. A little bit of white in there. Now you can add your clouds like this on a dry canvas. So if your paint is dry underneath, that's just fine. Or you can add it on wet paint as well. And that's what I'm doing right now. It's kind of kind of in between. Some parts are drying a little bit and some are a little bit wet. So you're gonna, just gonna tap and then just pull gently. I'm gonna add a little bit of a little bit of white there to that blue. Lighten it a couple shades. And then I'm just gonna tap in side a few of these clouds, a few areas just to make them stand out, have a little bit of a little bit more life to them and highlights. rinse my brush out now down to an even smaller filbert and this one's a number nine and without getting it wet I'm going to approach this step with a dry brush directly into the paint a little bit of yellow a little bit of orange gently just crisscross to mix the colors up and I'm just going to start adding some smaller clouds in here. And I'll add a little highlight on the ones that I added already with blue. So remember again, not a lot of blending not a lot of over mixing Let's mix up a little bit more I want to make sure you have enough white in there so that it doesn't dry too dark I'm going to start to partially go over 
the soft yellow and I'm going to use a little bit less white now. A little bit less white, more yellow and orange. Get it on the tip of your brush like this. And just a little pull and streak like that. I'm going to start adding side to side a little bit of water on my brush. Mix those colors up again, yellow, orange, and white. With a little bit of water, like I said. Back and forth, little sweeping strokes. Then I'm going to take a little bit more of my white and let's just go ahead and add our sun right about here. So I'm going to take my pinky, just dab it right there and then pull and drop and then little wiggles. and then back and forth, just for the reflection. Just gonna make this a little bit smaller. dab a little bit more white just right right in the center I'm gonna take my number two round brush you can just use any small brush just to make this a little smoother and round out the edges and then dab a little reflection down here. I'm going to go around with my orange and my yellow and my white. Add some more streaks. And I just pick up a little bit of white and I pull in gently. So I've got a little bit of a marble effect with the paint on my brush of uh, the yellow and the orange. Just wiggle this around. Again, not over mixing. I don't want to make one color. And I'll add those same colors down here. Just gonna outline my sun with the yellow and the orange. with my pink and my violet and I'm going to use uh, another filbert this one's a number four and I'm just going to get it a little bit wet first and let's go ahead and take our beautiful neon pink here I'm going to add some on the edge and pull in. So pull off the edge and then go over some of the other colors and leaving some spaces in between so we can see all the other colors 
as well. As I get uh, closer to the center, I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of white and I'll start adding some more. And then I'll continue on this side. And this again is with the white and the pink. Don't be afraid to go over the center. We'll come back with our brightest highlight after again anyways. It's nice to have all these colors. They just look so pretty together. I'm gonna add a little bit here on either side of the horizon. Let's enhance these clouds a little bit with a little dry brush, a little hint of this pink just above the peach and partially over that blue. So you don't want to have too much paint on your brush, that's a trick. Remember, we've got this one here in the center, so we don't want to forget about that. Let's bring that one to life a little bit. And let's add some sun rays. A little bit of white and water. A little bit of yellow in with that pink. And from here, pull and flick. like that nothing too too bright it's all about making it look nice and soft I'm gonna go back to my white and redab the center a gentle little tap with my pinky and pull a little line down there and then a wiggle. Now if your sun rays, sun rays are kind of disappearing, you can go back and add a little bit more. Because when you're making sun rays, you're using a, a, a bunch of water, right? Or more water than paint. And it tends to look a little bit brighter initially once it goes on but then it can disappear so have a look again after once it dries and you'll know if you need to add a little bit more and in this case uh, I just wanted to add a little bit more okay so now I'm gonna make it look like We've got a wave or seashore coming in right here, and this is all going to be like the beach. So I'm going to take my blue and my violet. Oh, maybe let's put a little bit of turquoise in there too and see. Get a nice dark color 
but one that's still pretty. We don't need to go in and use black or even dark gray. You could if you want, but I think I'm just gonna come right in here. And I'm wiggling while I do this because it's gonna be that foamy little bit on the that comes up on the sand from a gentle wave. I'm gonna take a little bit more of my violet and my blue, and I'll start adding some more shadows in here. Because the sand, the beach is wet, the sand is wet here, it's going to be reflective. So that's why we're seeing, we're still seeing the reflection like it's water. It's because the, the sand is wet. You know, when the waves come up and then they pull back and you're left with that slick looking wet sand. I'm going to wash my brush out. And I'm going to go over to white, a little bit of yellow peach. I'll add a little bit of pink in there. Like a beautiful coral color. And we're going to add that foam on the top. So you just want to line your brush up just partially over the dark line, the shadow line. We're gonna just gently come in here and whisk lightly and pull off to give it the direction that the water, we want the water going in. Okay, so we're gonna come right up here more white and yellow. Wiggle and pull. Let's go back and add that highlight there. And then add some more color here. The sunlight's really hitting right there. I'm going to brighten this up. I'm going to use a lot more white right here. Take a little bit of white and yellow. And Add a little bit in here, make it look kind of sparkly. I love it when we see those, I like to call them diamonds in the water. And it just looks like the water's got 
sparkles and glitter all over it. So this is just the neon yellow with some white. And I'll add a little bit more of a shadow. I'm going to take my turquoise here with my violet, purple, and blue. And I'm going to just come around here and pull out this way. Pull a few lines. Because you're going to have those, if you've got highlights, then you've got shadows. You can't have one without the other. So don't forget to go across and add your, add your dark shadows as well. Tight little wiggles back and forth, continuing down the edge of the canvas. And I'm going to take my blue. I've got a blue here. Come down the side, violet and blue. Add a few more lines. And now I'm going to add a little bit more of my blue for another shadow. This is just going to be a little bit lighter than what we initially have there. I'm going to come in from the, the side here and add a little bit of that, the same colors. Both violets, the purple, violet, and the blue. We've still got little bits of gray showing, right? That's really important. Unless you don't want to use uh, a gray underpainting, which is fine. But I recommend trying it at some point because just kind of compare it. Paint this on a white canvas and also paint it on a gray primed canvas. And I'm curious to hear what you guys think in comparison I bet that you'll be addicted to trying other paintings on a gray canvas. You'll see just how pretty it is. Okay, one last, one last bit of sun rays here. Okay, I'm going to call this painting all done. This was so much fun. Hope you guys learned a lot in this video. Get inspired and out of your comfort zone and use some, some different colors. Try something new today and you will grow as an artist just by doing that. So I hope you guys stay happy and positive and creative out there. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave a comment or question below and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye!